everybody. Welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this time we're at Capitol Reef National Park. And we're going to take you along. This is a Casablanca RV park. It is in Muskeet, Nevada, right on the Nevada-Arizona border. And we stopped here for a couple of nights. It's really, as you can see behind me, it's really nothing but a RV parking lot. Um, there's really, you know, no picnic tables or anything like that, but you do have full hookups, uh, water electric sewer, 20 and 30 amp electric, Cost per night is about $40 a night, and you have access to the pool, which is in the uh, casino area, and actually everything with the casino. So if you want to book a uh, spa day, uh, obviously gambling, um, the restaurants are all there. In fact, we went to the cafe restaurant the first night we were here and had our dinner, and it was very good and reasonable. So we enjoyed that. Um, now today we're heading out and we're starting heading to Utah. We're going to make make our final, I don't call it final leg because it sounds like we're he heading home, but we're getting closer to our destination at Rock Springs, um, Wyoming, which is going to be the Airstream Rally, but we have a number of stops in Utah to make first, and we've got about two weeks to get there, so actually almost three weeks to get there. So we've got a little bit of time and some places to visit while, while we get there, so we're going to start taking you guys along and you can check out these uh, different places. Welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this time we're at Capitol Reef National Park. And we're going to take you along. The ride into this park is spectacular. I mean, the main road, even before you get into the park, you've got scenery like this with these, this, these mountains and ridge, ridge line here. I guess this is what they would consider a reef. Um, just across the... Uh, area here. It's just you know, a very, very enjoyable ride through the park. The first stop we're making is at Chimney Rock, which is right behind. There is a hiking trail here. It's about four and a half miles. It takes you up to the upper elevation and around the rock where you can get some really good views of it. We're not doing it today. We had a lot on our agenda and some other spots we want to stop, so we're going to continue on through the park. This is the adventure hiking extent that you want to do? Yeah. You're on the top of the world. Spot is Close as I'm going to get to the edge. <laughs> yeah. We saw we have to, saw people go way over there. Yeah. I don't know how you get there. You must have to just walk along the path there, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just more of stepping over cracks. Yeah. I don't 
think so. Unless you want to. You can do it. <laughs> Might not reach your birthday tomorrow, but you could do it. Oh, okay. This whole area here is known as the fluted wall. This area behind me is known as the castle. So you can see that uh, formation of rocks up there that just tend to look like a castle. Kind of cool. Now Diane's got another name for these rocks over here that she'll tell you. When I first saw this here, before we knew the name of, of the area, I looked at the green and I said, those look like uh, little gnomes with the pointy hats. And if you use your imagination, you can see the faces on them. So I thought that was really cool. And this is the schoolhouse that the kids went to school in. If you look inside, you can see all the desks and everything. They've restored it to the way it was. But it's really kind of cool. Now this schoolhouse was built in 1896 and the last class out of here was 1941. And that was because of the declining rate of the number of students down here. I can't imagine it was that many students to begin with, but as you can see how small it is. But, you know, this was kind of neat. Now this area is also known for its fruit trees. And, and then when they're in season, you can actually walk up and pick them. So that's kind of cool about this area too. Uh, we are in the little area that's known as Fruta. And this is the Guilford House. And they're known for their pies, which we have one here. Now this area of Fruta was originally settled by Mormon farmers who uh, found this little valley and planted fruit trees and you know farmed the land and it was get to be very popular people would come here for the fruit and such so obviously they continued the tradition with the pies About as close as I'll get to a horse. <laughs> this one's hitting the other one in the face with its tail. No. Doesn't want you to pet it. Nice face. Like Monty, huh? So what are we doing? We're spending some time at Capitol Reef National Park in Utah, Torrey, Utah, and we're taking a ride along the scenic drive and Randy's going to do some video and taking some pictures. And who's driving? I will be driving. So watch out. Okay, can you reach the door? I can reach the door. It's like a mouth. It does, doesn't it?
What do you think? Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really spectacular. A lot more, I think, greenery than we've seen at other parks. Yeah. The contrast is nice with all the red. Yeah, it does. And so many different colors. We've reached the end of the pavement and it's time to turn around. It's about a what, maybe a 10 mile drive. I think they said it was 20 miles total of pavement driving. It goes farther off the pavement, but we're not going to do that. Really? We're not going to test out our new tires? Yeah. Well, I don't know. We're going to test out our spare again. <laughs> really? And our tire changing skills. Actually, it'd probably be fine, but. Yeah, it'd be fine. doing the Hickman Bridge Trail and the Hickman Bridge is actually a rock arch that you were hiking to so that'd be kind of neat. We stopped along the trail here just to check out the views as we go up. You never know when you might miss out on a good view. Other than the horses, that's the first really animal I've seen. The lizard. The lizard. Yeah. See, there's an arch over here that everyone just walked by. Right over here. Yeah. Turn to the right. Up in this area. Along the trail, there's this one little arch area that you might miss if you don't keep your eye open because the trail actually goes up and over it. But there's, it's really neat. There's this arch here, and then in here there's like an opening. And down below there's a couple of uh, what they would call tanks where water would pool. And, you know, it would be a place where, you know, pioneers or whatever coming through this area would get water. It's actually cooler under here, so it feels good.
The trail looks like it's marked by these rocks along here and these people coming the other way, so I guess we're going the right direction. The arch is just coming into view. So this is Hickman Bridge, and this is the payoff for the hike. It's about a mile to two here, it's kind of a, a lot of elevation change up and down, I think 400 feet of elevation, so it's a pretty good hike. And we get to reverse it. We made it to our destination, Hickman Bridge. It was a little bit over a mile hike, and it wasn't too bad. There are some, there is some climbing, some stairs for me, and the sun is out, so you know, I get a little tired. So I did have to sit down a couple times, get a drink, take a little rest. But uh, it wasn't too bad at all. Oh, well, we made it. We made it. Made it <laughs> there and back. Yeah, so it's about two miles, a lot of up and down, 400 feet elevation change, a lot of stops. But you did it. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that bad? Yeah. A couple times I had to, you know, sit down and rest and get a drink. Yeah. Yeah, so we made it. Yep. All right. I guess it's time to go get something to eat. Yeah. We came down this way the other day, and we got as far as here, and we decided we weren't going to go down the road, the dirt road, because of our experience with the tires before. But this time we're going to, we came back because we figured, well, it's just a dirt road. Maybe we can do it. So we're going to give it a shot. This is Capitol Gorge Road, and it's really kind of cool. It's a narrow dirt road going through this beautiful gorge, and we found a little pull-off here to stop and just kind of enjoy it. But it's really something. And I want to I want to point out something. So if you follow me over here, we are much more comfortable driving this because we got new tires. So we, and they're all terrain tires. Yes, yeah, so we have BF Goodrich all terrain tires on here. Not that you need them for this drive, but they are much more heavy duty tires than what we used to have on the truck. So we can take these roads with confidence. Well, we've reached the end of the road, and there's a trail. And this is the Petro Petrograph uh, Narrows Trail, and it's only about a mile long, so it's not too bad. Looks like it'd be pretty easy to walk. Yeah, it's quite, it seems to be quite flat. Yep, so we're going to check it out.
The wall behind me has uh, petroglyphs in it, which is one of the uh, things to see on this trail. Yeah, you gotta be careful, you could almost miss them. Luckily, they put a marker here so that you know where it is. Looks like we found the sunshine. For the moment. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but there are some names up on the side of that uh, cliff and a date is September 24th, 1911. So probably some of the uh, original people coming through this trail. Well, we walked down through the narrows and there's just a lot more narrows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is, I think there's um, some tanks down that way, you know, areas where water puddles and stays. Oh. But uh, I think this is, we've kind of decided we're, we're swing back and uh, continue, continue our drive back. But it was pretty cool. What'd you think? Yeah, it was. I'm glad we decided to come further down the road and stop and explore this. Yeah, exactly. Well, today's a travel day, dear, and we're on the road. But before we leave, we want to wrap up this video. So we've been staying at Thousand Lakes uh, campground. It's a private campground just about 10 miles outside of the National Park and it's in Torrey, Utah. It's a nice campground. The campsites are pretty large. They have pull-through sites as well as back-end sites. They're all full hookups. They're all full hookups. It's, uh, yeah, they do have a pool. They do have camping cabins. Yeah. They have tenting areas. They have a general store, which also has gifts and other souvenirs. Yeah, very it. nice general store. Yes. They also have a barbecue restaurant, which is only open from 5 till 9. We did buy our dinner there one night. I would have to say, for the food was okay. We felt they were a little pricey for what you got. Yeah, for the two of us, for dinner takeout without drinks, $50. Yeah. So it was a little pricey. Yeah. I mean, if it included drinks and a dessert, then maybe. Yeah, um, for barbecue, yeah. Yeah, the sides were very small and you only got your choice of one. So yeah, and you could sit, you could eat in there or take out. There are several restaurants, local restaurants yeah. right in the area. No fast food chains being such a small Remote area. Remote area. But it's a good location for visiting Capitol Reef. Yep. And if you're here and you don't want to stay in a private park and you want to try to get into the National um, Park uh, Campground, it, we did walk around that and it is very nice. Now all the sites are not hook up. Yeah. You know, there's no hookups on any of the sites. It's dry camping. And you really want to make sure that the size of the site will fit your rig because there were some very small sites in there. They were geared more for a vehicle and a tent. Yeah, I don't think they. Yeah, I don't think they would fit uh, longer class. But there a. was a few. I was would say that? maybe ten to fifteen percent of the sites you could put a rig like ours on there. You could put up to a th you know maybe a thirty foot. Yeah, but nothing longer. Nothing I mean, longer not, than thirty foot. No. Yeah, not like a forty foot class A or fifth wheel. Nothing like that. Right. It right. seemed to be a nice campground, and we enjoyed the park. Yeah. Very much. Yeah, this that is probably probably one of the most underappreciated national parks and it, it is really one of the best. We, we really enjoyed it. It's right up there with us. Right. It was very nice. Yeah. But we've got to get going because we have more national parks to visit. Yep. So in the next time, what should they do? We'll see you down the road. Right, well, be first, before we see you down the road, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up, leave us a comment. And then we will see you down the yeah. road. Sorry, I forgot all that. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. All right, let's get going. Okay. Hi, guys. Get in the truck. Time to hit the truck. Come in.